Hey guys, Andy here. So over the years, I've reviewed quite a few different types of microphone, some really for my own benefit to know which I want to use on my camera. And in this case, it is the Rode uh, VideoMic Pro Plus. Um, but I also reviewed a little while back a Pixel shotgun mic. It was a tiny little mic, um, really for use with my DJI Osmo Action or for someone else's GoPro. Um, and it was pretty good for a sort of a 40 pound mic. And Pixel got in touch with me saying, would I like to try their wireless uh, Lav Lavier, Lavier, Lapel mic, the one that clips on you. Uh, yes, please. And here it is. So before we move on to an actual sort of test and demo and sample, let's just, just take a bit of a better look at, I like that it comes in a little carry case. There's a, there's a net pocket for your bits and pieces, which generally are just gonna be your cable to connect the one unit to your camera or your phone, and then the mic, should you wish to use the mic. Um, the actual units sit in the base, and they do both have clips that can just clip onto things, obviously. Um, or there's a cold shoe adapter so that it can clip onto the top of the camera. There isn't even any pairing up process, so you power them both on. USB Type-C chargeable, I would point out, which I really like. And they connect automatically. As you can see, it started recognizing my voice now. You can see the sound meter, so to speak. You can see we're both on channel one. You can change those with the uh, cog button at the bottom. You can also change the sort of sensitivity with the, the plus and minus for the um, gain, audio gain, I suppose it is. And that's it, it's as simple as that. For the one that is uh, gonna clip on to the camera, we basically just slide the clip into the hot shoe mount like so. Um, it's worth pointing out, where did it go? You can plug headphones into this one. So this one's gonna go onto the camera. So if you've got a sort of separate camera and he can have headphones on hearing the audio, that is gonna connect from the unit to the camera. And then this, we either use the inbuilt mic here or we plug the external microphone in and clip that on somewhere. So it's probably time basically to swap over from the Rode VMic Pro Plus to these and let's see what the difference is. So before we try the actual microphone, I want to give a kind of a point of reference. So I've taken my Rode video mic off. I've not got these plugged in just yet. So this is the actual GH5's built-in microphone. Now we're going to switch over to the uh, wireless mic. So this is the wireless mic that's built into the box, obviously with the clip. Could clip that to the t-shirt or someone's coat or, I mean, this is the easiest way. If you were out on the street interviewing people, I mean, probably the shotgun mic is easiest then, but um, you could just literally clip this box onto someone and talk to them. Uh, it's nice and simple that way. And it generally, I think it sounds okay. I've dropped the decibels. It comes at 13 as sort of default. I've dropped it down to nine. I went too low and I couldn't hear anything. And I've gone back up to nine. I think it's found a good middle point. Um, so now let's plug in the actual Lavier mic as well, I suppose, and see how that sounds. So using the same settings, again, we're at sort of nine, if you can see that in the corner there, nine decibels. Um, I think you'll agree, it sounds good. Sounds pretty good. Um, clearly it's just clip, 
clipped to the outside of a t-shirt. You can clip it on the inside. You can clip it inside a coat. It can be behind fabrics. In fact, when I was looking into lav mics a while back, um, I was seeing kind of techniques that they use in TV and film where the mic actually gets taped to their forehead and then like a woolly hat goes over it or a baseball cap or something so it can't be seen and that still works really well. Um, so yeah, you can be positioned, you can take the little windbreaker piece off uh, and can even come out of the clip and like I say, just be taped onto you if you weren't hairy. Um, so I really like, I think it's a great, it's, if you're a videographer, if that is the right word, then a wireless lav mic setup is something you want to have in your arsenal. It just opens up a lot of other options. Um, for example, I've got a friend that wants to do car videos and I've said, yeah, I'll help out and a lav mic would be great. You clip it onto him and he can wander all around the car. He can get in the car. He can go around the car. He can go around by the back of the camera. It won't matter. The mic is in the same place and he's going to be on him the whole time. I can concentrate on the bits that I want to film and I don't have to worry about having the shotgun mic pointed at him. Um, so it is a really good option. Now, Rode do something that looks almost identical. I'm not saying they copied these guys. I would imagine Rode came out first. And these, I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, but Rode do a wireless clip-on thing like this as well. But I think it's like 170. Now, Rode, I'm a massive fan of Rode products, um, but I don't have that, so I can't compare. That would mean spending 170 pounds of my own money just to do a comparison video on something that I don't need because I've got a much more expensive lav mic in the drawers behind. Um, so I think just listening to this and hearing this, how it sounds, it's good. I think... I think, I think for 130 pounds, it's worthwhile. It's an interesting step up from their shotgun mic, which was 40, to their wireless one, which is 130. That's quite a jump, but I think the whole wireless element does, it's just the whole setup involves, it's more hardware, it's gonna involve more costs. Um, so I'd love to hear if you think it's worthwhile, if you think it's worth it, if you make videos, are you interested in this sort of product? Um, would you spend 130 pounds on this? Would you rather spend even more to get an even better mic? Um, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you to those that do um, do contribute on Patreon. So patreon.com slash AAUK. If you haven't subscribed already, please do check out other videos on my channel. Um, but for now, my name's Andy, and I'll catch you all again soon.